after students were told to not return to campus for the rest of the semester, many of us have not left our homes. In fact, everybody at Annenberg Media is practicing social distancing and avoiding contact with anybody outside their homes. The biggest question was how Annenberg Media student journalists would continue to do the great work that they do on so many different platforms day in and day out. So we did what everyone did. We have meetings over Zoom, and so that's how I'm connecting with my reporters. Students would gather in Zoom rooms uh, to do planning throughout the day. We have students all over the world, and that has really enriched our journalism. I'm currently on my 12th day of government-mandated quarantine, and the government has required everyone who's entered the country to use an app that asks for symptoms and temperature twice a day. I spoke with workers in Cherokee County, Georgia, to see their concerns on continuing to go to work during this time. We do digital journalism, social media. Now, in addition to reporting for Annenberg Media, I'm one of the editors of the Arts, Culture, and Entertainment Desk. That job wasn't affected too much since quarantined like before. Writers send their articles in via Google Docs, and then I can publish them using our publishing software. I'm Melody Waintel. I'm a journalism student at USC. I'm also the DeMillo editor at Annenberg Media. The desk is really unique because it really focuses on covering stories of underrepresented communities. Remembering where you come from and the fact that you are first generation is always a great like motivation for me to like echarle ganas. And they have just been providing coverage nonstop that is so important to our community. Last semester, the students started talking about the idea of self-care and particularly innovative ways that the health and wellness desk has been looking at them. And then that kind of got us thinking, well, what other, what other topics could we cover that center around health news? Smile and Wave is a podcast focusing on the mental health of young adults while navigating the ever-changing world. So ATVN, our four-night-a-week uh, television broadcast, they have really needed to innovate. Sure, it's different. They are not going out because we want to observe physical distancing, but the students are still researching. They're still finding people to interview, and they're conducting interviews via Zoom. We've done stories about antibody testing. Results from USC, LA County antibody testing shows COVID-19 has spread through LA County much more than we thought. We've done stories about the virus and how it affects students on campus. President Fult said plans are now in the works for both the summer and fall semester. We have talked to the experts. Health officer Sarah Van Orman explained how to wear these masks safely. We didn't miss one single show. Starting the Monday that we came back from spring break, we have produced a newscast every single night, Monday through Thursday. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where the magic happens. This is my at-home studio. I'll read the script into voice memos on my phone while in my car. Kind of works as a sound booth. We also have sports shows that are continuing to flourish because students are talking about what the sports world looks like now. Just because sports is non-existent during this pandemic doesn't mean that you can't report on sports. They had to learn a new way. Since USC athletes are in quarantine all over the country, they're finding different ways to stay motivated to work out at home. So this is where you roll up your sleeves and basically get back to the grind of being a reporter. Today we're producing Sports Scene remotely. We've been doing this ever since we had to return back home due to the coronavirus outbreak. Sports Scene is now a 45-minute live talk show-based sports show. On our radio platforms, it was a little different. How do you do really quality day-to-day -day journalism that handles all of the news, but also gets at this unprecedented moment that students are facing? And so they tackled that two ways. So we air one or two stories that we post on the website every day, and then we've been working on a big hour-long pandemic special and it's just been incredible actually this is portraits of a pandemic a special hour of storytelling personal reflection and expressions of hope from usc's annenberg radio news we're really blessed to have such dedicated annenberg um, faculty staff coaches and our amazing tech staff who have really gone above and beyond um, to be available in zoom rooms all day and also even home delivery of a, a little um, outfit to make his closet a radio recording studio that was soundproof. The students really understand this is the story of a lifetime. And as journalists, they want to be part of that coverage. And they have been doing an extraordinary job.
This is going to be one of those unprecedented challenges that they can say that they were able to adapt and thrive and persevere um, under very difficult challenges. And I think that that's going to help them no matter what careers they end up pursuing.